why did it have to happen in the middle of this tutorial? Zanies, today is the day. The video you guys have all been waiting for. The video about the question I get over and over and over mm -hmm. again, regardless of where I'm at. If I'm just hanging out on the public server, I'll hear this question. If I'm reading the comments, I'll run into this question. If I'm on the Dizzy, I will get this question. And that question is, Zany, how are you so good at breaking into houses, at robbing the ATMs, and successfully robbing the jewelry store? Today, I am going to answer that question. Today I'm going to show you how to successfully rob an ATM, the jewelry store, or the houses in Liberty County. This is going to be the full tutorial. It might be kind of lengthy but trust me you are going to be better off at the end of this video. We're not going to waste any more time if you don't know and in case it's not implied you are going to need some hardware to pull all of this off. So without delay we are going to go right to the tool store and pick up exactly what we're going to need. In case you don't know and this is all going to take you by surprise you are going to need an RFID disruptor, you are going to need a lockpick, and I just so happen to already own a drill, but if you don't have one, you are going to need a drill. Coincidentally enough, we are right around the corner from an ATM. We are going to begin with the ATM. Before I begin, let me just remind you, if you are looking for hacks, for codes, or scripts, or any kind of glitches, this is not the video for you. We are going to do all of this in a very legitimate way. The best thing that I can do is give you my pointers, tell you how I do things, and try to talk you on to the methods that I use that allow me to be so successful. Starting with the ATM, obviously we are going to click on RFID Disruptor. When you see the list, something I like to do is just take your time looking for the code. 81B, I know it says 60 seconds, but you guys, don't freak out. I'm still talking, I haven't even started, and I promise you I'm going to have plenty of time. Another thing to keep in mind, you guys, is that your mouse does not need to click the actual number. Your mouse can be anywhere on this black part. So 81B. There's the first one. Try to anticipate it if you can. 135, EFB. Those are the only ones I do hate, are the ones that are by the top part of the screen. Those are often really hard to catch, but just concentrate on the number. That threw me off a little bit, but on the number or code that you're looking for. And the last one coming back around, BB3. Try to anticipate it. And just like that, 3,209, unedited, real time, that is exactly what I do, you guys. And again, 60 seconds is more than enough time for you to concentrate and really take your time. We're going to do that one more time for everyone to see. Once again, patience is key. We're going to remain anywhere in this black part here. And we're not going to try to chase the lights. We're going to let the light come to us. And instead, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the number and code that we need to stop the light on. There's the first one. Now we're looking for 125. 6B6. I don't see it. There it is. CCO. Okay, and this is 6CO, excuse me. This is one of the ones that I hate because it's right at the top. So I'm really going to try to focus here. There we go, I got it, and 1DE, just like that zanies, nothing to it, focus on the number and code, do not chase the light. Next, the jewelry store. I will admit, this is where things get kind of tricky. I've tried to explain this over and over again in the comments, but I can't seem to get people to understand what I mean by light presses on your mouse. So if it matters at all, I am going to put my mouse settings somewhere on the screen right now. That is what I have my mouse set to. And also, in case you're wondering, the Corsair mouse that I'm using will be linked in the description below. Let's get right into the jewelry case. It tells you exactly what you have to do. Click and hold the drill. Keep the bar in the green section to prevent the drill from overheating. So that's a bit of an ambiguous message. I will tell you right off the bat because you do not need to click and hold. You essentially need to click over and over and over again to keep the bar in the green. So I'm going to say that again. Don't hold the button. If you hold the button, you are going to burn out your drill. You are going to click once, let it go, keep on clicking, keep on clicking, keep on clicking and try to keep that bar in the green. And again, light even presses. And as a matter of fact, what I'm going to do, because I don't know how to show you my mouse clicks on the screen, is I'm going to overemphasize the clicking on my mouse after I'm done with this one. 
just like that 1062 so let's give it a couple seconds for the timer to reset on us and we're going to pull the drill off but this time i'm going to put my mic right on top of my mouse so you guys can hear the rhythm that i adopt when i'm breaking into the jewelry cases i can't say it enough so i'm going to repeat it again do not hold down the mouse button do not hold down the mouse button i think you guys get it here we go And that's all there is to it, Zanies. I hope you can hear for yourself how you really do have to adopt some kind of rhythm when you're doing this. You really just have to get used to it. You have to keep practicing it. And to me, it's one of those things that becomes muscle memory. Once you've gotten good at it, every single time after that, you're going to do it without a problem. And you're going to be able to successfully rob the jewelry store without burning out your drill. One more third and final time, just because I really do feel that the jewelry store is the trickiest of them all. We're going to move over to this case here. We're going to wait for the timer to let us in. There it goes. And we're in. Okay. Rhythm clicks don't hold. Rhythm clicks on hold. And it really isn't until you get to about that three, four second mark that you really have to speed up your clicks. But right before that, just slight even presses. Don't let it freak you out. Here we go. Closing in on those seconds. Just like that, Zanies. Three successful attempts unedited for you to see. <laughs> I'm going to remind you of something that I said in one of my other videos. Do not worry about going after the bigger houses in the game. If you go after the smaller houses, not only will you get through them quicker, but you'll walk away with the same amount of money as you would if you hit the bigger houses. The only difference is that the bigger houses take exponentially longer to go through, thus increasing the likelihood of you getting caught. Something I'm also going to say before we begin on the houses is if you enter the lockpick and you get the little menu with the pins, I'm going to tell you right off the bat if the pins are going excessively fast don't even waste your time move on to the next one go buy another lock pick and come back it is darn near impossible to stop the pins when they are going crazy fast especially as you get towards the smaller ones yeah you might get the first one you might even get the second and the third one if you're really good at it but at the end of the day trust me you are not going to get that last pin if it's going really really fast this is going to take a lot more patience and this is going to take a lot more money but believe me if you get in it will be worth it let's focus on those pins and the trick to this is very simple okay you have to really keep in mind and analyze the fact that you have this much surface area at any point in time to make a mistake so there's the first one and see this one's already kind of moving fast on me so it's not looking so good that one's going kind of slow this one's going kind of slow as well and this one's definitely going fast on me this might not be a good one for me and this one is just off the hook. Look at that. If I get this one zanies, this is just going to be nothing more than luck of the draw. I'm going to try my best focusing on that area, focusing on that line. Yep, and I didn't get it. And I'm almost glad that happened because I was a perfect example of what I was saying. The minute I saw it go pretty fast, that's the minute I knew I wasn't going to get it. And this happens even to me, Zany. So if it happens to you, don't feel frustrated. Don't feel discouraged. It's going to happen. That last pin going that fast is darn near impossible to get. Go back to the hardware store, pick up a new lock pick, and get back to it. Back at the house for a second attempt, same rule as with the ATM applies, you don't need to click on the pin zanies, don't hover your mouse over the slime because that might impede or block your view, just click on the outside, anywhere on the outside will stop the pin, hoping that this set of pins is a little slower and it's already looking good, let's give it a shot, that one's going kind of fast, that one's going kind of fast as well, we got a slow one there, medium speed there, and this one does not appear to be going as fast as the previous one i'm pretty sure i'm going to be able to get this one and i didn't wow that one surprised me 
But hey, listen, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm $1,000 out, but I know that if I get in, I'm going to come out with about $3,500, thus offsetting my expense to get into the property. And as we drive back, Zanies, I'm just going to call it before I even see it because I've never seen a set of pins that fast three times in a row. So I know for a fact I'm going to break into this next house successfully. But what is going to allow me to prosper and come out on top is that patience that I'm exercising and just understanding that I've never received three set of pens going that fast so that automatically tells me that this next one here is going to be kind of slow for me and those initial pens are kind of fast that one is kind of fast too but see this is the key here look at the pen slowing down and look at how slow that last pen is going what did I tell you zanies this is unedited this is you looking at it real time and just like that, I am full of confidence right now because I know I'm going to stop this pen the minute I stop talking and I'm going to break into this house. And there you go. I am in. So let's see how much money we come out with. Don't tell me this is a safe. It is a safe. My number one enemy in the game. I'm going to be real with you, Zanies. I have no tips and tricks for this safe. I have only once successfully broken into any of the safes. This isn't my forte. Ah, I hate this. Why did it have to happen in the middle of this tutorial? Yeah, I'm not going to get it. Oh, man. This is horrible, Zanies. Am I going to get it? Oh, my God. You guys, I got it. $5,037. Wow. Goes to show, Zany. So let's just very quickly break it down. This is what the expenses look like, and this is how much I am still coming out on top. So no matter which way you slice it, your haul for breaking into the house is very often going to be the same, if not more, as if you would have broken into an ATM. Because the ability to rob into houses over and over again is contingent on the game cycling, I'm not going to try to do that again. It would just take way too long and really make this video more long than it's already probably going to be. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sum it all up for you guys. When it comes to breaking into the houses, hope for a set of slow moving pins. If you don't find a set of slow moving pins, it's not a big deal. Just count on the fact that you might not be able to break into that one and hope for the next one. A very broad ratio that I always try to remember in the back of my mind is that at least one of every four houses that I'm going to try to rob into is going to have a set of slow moving pins. And even if I get it on that last house, being the fourth house, I am very likely still going to come out on top with at least $15 to $2,500. When it comes to the ATMs, don't chase the light, focus on the number, focus on the code. Don't block your view by trying to click it with your mouse. Put your pointer away somewhere in the black of the screen and really focus on pinning down that light. Take your time, I've already proven that 60 seconds is more than enough time to get into the ATM. And finally, when it comes to the jewelry store, develop a rhythm for yourself practice it over and over and over again really get intimate with your mouse and understand what the force of a click will do to that black line practice it with your mouse and no matter what you do contrary to the instructions do not hold down the button click it over and over and over again to keep that black bar anywhere away from the red it doesn't have to be in the center i feel that's a point i didn't emphasize enough it doesn't have to be in the center just keep it away from the red that's gonna do it zanies i expect all of you to be driving bugattis next time i see you as a matter of fact we should plan a bugatti rally somewhere in one of the parking lots sometime soon but i'm being serious there's really no reason why if you practice just a few times you should be able to get just as good as robbing the atm the jewelry store or the houses zanies i sincerely hope that this robin tutorial helps every single one of you out until next time long live the zanies